All right, just to give you an idea, we are leaving the house right now on North River and I'm going to go through uh, the rest of the neighborhood. So like I mentioned, you are tucked back here. Uh, just a couple things. <clears throat> you never really want to be the best house in the neighborhood. Um, and the reason for that is definitely coming from an investment standpoint. Uh, if you are the best of the best, there is nowhere to go up. Uh, so if you're middle of the road, which is kind of the ideal place that you would want to be, your property value will go up and you'll gain equity in the home and then you, you have a good investment. Um, if you are the nicest house in the area, you don't have anywhere to gain equity and you could potentially end up losing money whenever you go to move or sell or rent. Um, so this is more of what the neighborhood does look like. Uh, like I said, a lot of these brick ranches that were built in the 50s and 60s. Um, I'm gonna take a turn right here. Um, oh, I don't wanna run over that little bird in the puddle. So it is a quiet neighborhood. I don't wanna talk poorly about the neighborhood. The neighborhood is very quiet. Uh, it seems like a lot of people that live here have lived here for a very long time. Um, it is, I just wanna take you to the main drag. So whenever you get hungry or wanna go to the grocery store, uh, it is a little notorious for being a rougher area, but please don't take my word for it. Please do your own research. Um, invest in those crime mapping apps if you have not already. Uh, I just do, do your research. Um, but that's why I like to do these videos to kind of give you an idea of what, what's going on. This is George Washington Highway. It's going to be your main road to get into and out of the neighborhood and the area. But as you can see, it's very industrial. So further down that way, you're going to have a lot of like new and used tire stores and, oh, my light's turning green, hang on. I'm gonna take you this way. So here's where you have a lot of body shops, a lot of mechanics. There's a strip club right there. Um, a lot of fast food. There are definitely gas stations. Um, Self storage places. There's a tattoo parlor. So this is going to be your closest grocery store. You are right on the edge of Chesapeake and Portsmouth. So literally as soon as we turn at this light, you will be in Portsmouth, which is not a bad thing. Um, but again, it, it does flood, which is, you know, as you've seen so far, you are in a flood zone. Man, I can't run that light with a cop air. <laughs> Uh, but here is, you have a lot of like dollar stores, Family Dollar, Dollar Tree, uh, there's a Food Lion, which it's, it's one of like a budget friendly grocery store if you're not familiar with that. They're definitely more of an East Coast thing. Um, then you have, uh, some, some apartments and stuff over here. around because I don't need to go into Portsmouth for any reason. So they have they have things um, to do over here like laundromats, <laughs> subways, liquor store. Um, I would just do your due diligence, do your research, download a couple of those crime mapping apps. Um, and just know that this particular area is not as desirable as some of maybe the other areas that you have seen so far. That's all I can legally say, but I really hope you're catching my drift.
Also, if you are here and you are working at Little Creek or if you are working, um, not Little Creek, gosh, what am I talking about? If you're here and you're working at Portsmouth, it'll be a super quick commute. Um, but if you're working at Norfolk or Little Creek, then, ooh, it's a big old speed bump. If you're working at Norfolk or Little Creek, it will be an issue where you would have to go through the tunnel. Um, so let me know, like I said, the neighborhood itself is very quiet, but whenever you have to leave the neighborhood for any reason, um, it is not the most desirable community.